Hey everyone, how's it going? Today we're going to be doing a quick tutorial on how to spawn in your AI players and how to make them crash into you. So we're going to just going to load up an empty world. That's that'll be a good place just to to experiment. Now hopefully I can record in this way. I know you're stuck seeing my taskbar and whatnot. I might actually cut those out, but uh, let me make sure my audio isn't too loud, which it is. We can bring that up with Control O. Okay. Let's see, so to bring in a second vehicle, you're going to want to well, be in a world, and what you're going to want to do is hit the J key. Now the J key on your keyboard, that's going to freeze everything, so you'll notice now I can't move my vehicle if I already had it moving, and then I hit J, it freezes. It freezes the whole game, it's like a pause really. Uh, if you do that when you're flying through the air, your vehicle will instantly stop in the air, and so will everything else. It's great if you want to get a screenshot or something. Um, but what we're going to do is we're going to hit the J key to pause the physics. This isn't a mandatory step, but I highly recommend it. Otherwise, you'll be left with some funky things possibly happening. And then we're going to want to open up our world editor, which we do by clicking F11. So there we go. We'll slide this over to the side. And we're going to want to go to this, this tree thing here. Uh, let's go to the library tab. Miss, oh, sorry, level. BMNG. And then we're going to want to just open up the vehicle. Now we have a choice of vehicles here. Our choices are well basic. We can't really make specific vehicle types. I think maybe if you have a specific vehicle saved, like a custom vehicle, then you might be able to load it there. I'm not sure though. Um, but we're just going to load in a pickup. We're not going to worry about anything else. Actually, let's load in a full size. Now it might take a minute for it to load. Depends on your computer and how it feels today. Uh, now, if you want, you can go into the menu at the top of the screen. And go to camera, world camera, and you can go to, to standard or orbit or whichever, and then you can m more freely move your camera around. You're not stuck to one vehicle. And to get back to that, to the this camera you're at now, you might have to come into the editor and go to first or third person. Now, we have our second vehicle spawned in here, but if we go and resume the game, it's not going to chase us. Now, keep in mind, at this point, the game AI are buggy right now they're just doing a hot fix to get them to work so if you do certain things such as after you've activated the AI if you go and respawn in this vehicle this full-size vehicle the AI or even your own vehicle I found the AI will stop working often and the only way to fix that seems to be to restart the game which isn't fun but so now we've got our vehicle spawned in here we have to make sure it's selected if it's not selected then you'll see this the little BMNG vehicle symbol on there sometimes it's it acts funny and that symbol isn't really there. Uh, so let's click on our vehicle and go to over to the, this window on our right and check is AI controlled. Now at this point we can click F11 again to get out of the, the editor and we can click J to resume physics. Oops, and let's stop our vehicle. Now there's one more thing we have to do and after you do this step if your AI are not working still Try using the tab key. If you hit the tab key, it'll take you to the next vehicle. And if you tab to them and back, sometimes it'll get them to, to start working. Even if you have multiple vehicles not working, try tabbing to them and then back and see if that helps. I found that to be quite helpful. But now what we're going to want to do to get our to get the AI actually chasing us, we're going to want to go control T. Now this will bring up this menu here. Now it'll give you two options for AI mode, chasing player or flee from player. Now right now it's just a pretty basic straight line check. If there's a tree or another car in the way, they'll hit that to get to you. Uh, so using it in an actual world isn't really that practical. You're going to want to go with something like an empty world, something with a lot of empty space. Um, so we're going to go with chasing player. And if you're lucky, they'll immediately start trying to hit you. And they're just trying to hit me. Now if, from there on, we're good to go. Oop. So we can have our own little demolition derby. You can bring in several more cars. And ta-da. Now as you bring in more cars, your game is going to get laggy. <laughs> I can guarantee that. Would you get away from me, car? <laughs> I want to have fun. <laughs> this is fun. Uh, when you start getting several cars in there, you think, oh, they're all going to team up on me. And yeah, they do, but they actually, they're, they're dumb right now. They will actually hit each other as much as they hit you. They get in each other's way. And they eventually do have start having troubles. Once they have troubles turning, they'll start driving around in a big circle. They don't last very long. Actually, this guy is almost toasted already, so... 
we can probably finish them off with a couple more hits if we want to. Now let's say you want to do something a little bit simpler. You want to load another vehicle to crash into, or to have crash into you, maybe a head-on collision, that's what we're going to do here. But you don't want them to be all AI smart and stuff. Now that's simple enough, we're just going to hit J again to freeze our physics. Go into F11, and we're going to want to go to our camera menu up here, we'll go to world camera and standard. And now we are inside the pickup. Where it puts you, it'll often put you at the spawn of your world, so where you appeared when you first loaded in, so then you have to find your location from there. But let's go get a distance away from our pickup, and that should be good. And we're going to load in another vehicle, just like we did before. And our vehicle, and we're going to choose the van this time, just because we don't want our AI to spin its tires. Um, let's see, we're going to want to get, oh, we're going to want our camera back, our player camera. There, there we go, you want to do that before you leave the world, before you leave the editor, I should say. We'll click F11 again, and we're back to our regular camera, and we can hit J to unpause physics. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to make this van, <coughs> excuse me, face the pickup. And why? Well, we're going to have a collision going on, so they, it would help if they were facing each other. Now, this isn't really enough distance. I should have used more. But it'll be fine for the demonstration. And what we can do now, if we leave, if we tab, use tab to switch to the other vehicle, if we do that while this vehicle's accelerator is pushed down, so we've got the up arrow pushed down if we're using the keyboard, it'll, the vehicle will keep accelerating as we leave. It won't just maintain its speed, but it'll keep going faster and faster like it was when we left it. Uh, so if we're holding down the up arrow to go towards that, our pickup, and we hit tab, it'll continue to speed up. And then at this point, we can get switched to other vehicle and head straight to it. And we have our controls, such as alt and the down arrow, to adjust time, and we can launch a collision. <laughs> and that's how AI work. Hopefully this helps some people. I had a couple people request that I did do a tutorial. Uh, so that's what this episode is intended as. Uh, so hopefully that'll help you guys have a little more fun. <laughs> and I'll see you for another video next time. Bye-bye.